I do believe he is smarter than the other sharks, that some of those guys just got oh, lucky. Right. You just got lucky. good. They got lucky. <laughs> no, Robert, you welcome. Actually, you, you actually started with something substantial, right? You were in computers and yes. cybersecurity. And well, I think we all started with something substantial, but I still have an operating business. We operate a very large cybersecurity company, which is a good thing to have right now. By the way, I mean, have you been following all this stuff with the CIA and the spying on your phone? And, uh, you know, Greg is like, they're not going to do anything to the average person. And they're, you know, going after the terrorists and stuff like that. Robert, let me what explain. Is, Robert, what do you think? I got all the heebie-jeebies. You Robert, know? they've been you able to do that to for a long time. Hand. You don't have to raise your hand. You can speak. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> they've so, been doing it for a long time. But forget the individuals. What's going on now is a cold war. Governments are using the cyber world to wage war against each other, which in some ways is better because you're not firing rockets and stuff. But it's, it's really bad. And... You know, everything is connected to the internet today. Everything, not your phone, your fridge, your car, everything. Your but TV. Your TV. This latest WikiLeaks dump, though, I'm not freaked out by it. I'm encouraged that the CIA has the capability that we all pretty much suspected that they had, you know, that they could do this right. stuff if they wanted to, as long as they do it uh, against our enemies or <laughs> our allies, but not us. What I always tell people is the internet is like an elephant. It never forgets. Mm. So be careful what you put out there. Right. Because, I mean, I know they're going after the, the really bad guys, but you never know how that well, could turn around. And like the, the bad guys person. are coming to us. Right. right? You've got to be careful about your identity. Just a quick tip. Never do your personal financial stuff in a public Wi-Fi. It's called public Wi-Fi for a reason. It's public. So just be very careful. And they that. can just go in and zap? They can, and it's very risky. So, so like when people go to, like, Starbucks, right? And Don't do your banking. Don't do your yeah, banking. Do your social that. media. Poetry. Yeah. Send your email. <laughs> Poetry. <laughs> Waste time. You know, coffee house. Waste and by time. the way, this little thing right yeah, here, cover Robert, that up. This, this little camera, I hear that people uh, in the United States can just send you an email and look at you on your own laptop. It's a good idea. I always told my kids, cover those up. I never allowed them to have a computer in their room that didn't have tape over the camera. Huh. Yeah. M meanwhile, the kids, uh, the wife, how's married life going? Married life is great. Yeah. So she's, why are you looking at me? So I heard Kim, are you surprised by that? So, no, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised she, well, why well, wouldn't it well, be great? Because, you know, yeah, no, why wouldn't it be great? Well, Kim's going back. She's going to dance, right? She's, dancing she's with the dancing stars? this year with Mr. T. Okay, are we, <laughs> oh, that's are, that, are we okay with that, Robert? Because you know, you know, you fell in love while you were dancing with her. Well, I, I did have a talk with him and I said, hey, she's a married woman. Keep your hands off her or <laughs> we'll have to beat you up. And, he wasn't, he didn't feel threatened. Yeah. Did he, <laughs> did he pity the fool? No. <laughs> he laughed. Robert. So did Kimbo. <laughs> right, exactly. Listen, we found a nice little thing online. I think the Shark Tank people put it together about your childhood. We want to show it yeah. to everybody, okay? Great. We had dirt floors and hay and no running water for a long time, but it never seemed bad because I was a little kid, my grandmother, lots of family, dogs, cats, horses. Yugoslavia was a great country if you were part of the Communist Party. My dad was very anti-communist and would say all kinds of bad things about communism. And he got thrown in jail 22 times. And the last time he got thrown in, he was told, if you come back, you will never return. He packed a suitcase grabbed my mom and me and we crossed the border to Italy, got on a boat and came to Canada. Wow. wow. What a hero. <laughs> I know. No, I mean, when, when you hear somebody of such humble beginnings, I mean, you basically lived in a barn. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, we always make fun of it. And the other sharks make fun of me on the show when somebody who's an immigrant comes out. But my experience is very unique. I mean, I, I'm not an immigrant. I'm a, literally a guy off the boat. You know, we came to Canada when I was eight years old with one suitcase and $20. And that kind of shapes everything you do. And what I always think is the, the challenge in America is not the rich and the poor, it's knowledge. When I was 12 years old, I wanted to start a business. I had all these big dreams of things I wanted to do, but I had no way to express that. That's one of the great things about Shark Tank. It's one of the great things why we've partnered with Frito-Lay for MyDreamVention.com. Yeah, what is this going on? Because I know yeah, you brought so, us some Fritos, which we're really excited about. I know you guys love that. Fritos. And Fritos makes Doritos, or vice versa. <laughs> there's all kinds of products but, in Frito-Lay. Why? But there's a well, contest a, going it's on. It's a variety pack. What we did was we wanted, you know, I love kids, and I love giving people the opportunity to dream. And so we created a contest where kids can write in about a great invention, get together with your families, 
and they go to MyDreamVention.com, they fill out a form, and they could win $250,000. But not only that, we can make their prototype come to life. How and old do they have to be? I mean, is seven it, and up. Seven and up. You, you may be a little too old for that. Well, what's the no, cutoff? I didn't say yeah. Seven and up. And well, there yeah. is no cutoff. There is no cutoff for dreaming. Okay, cool. But we're encouraging families and kids. But, you know, that's the great thing. I remember being 12 years old and thinking, I want to be rich. I want to create something. But where do you go if you're a poor immigrant and you're disenfranchised and nobody in your family's ever done it? And that's why contests like this are great. That's why Shark Tank's such a great show for that. Robert, real quick, tell us that moment where you realized you had really hit it big. I think you were online at the bank and something happened. I sold my company for $30 million. They gave me four checks. I went to the bank. I stood in line with everybody else to make a deposit. I get to the window. The lady says, do you have a deposit slip f filled out? I said, no. She goes, ah, I'll do it for you. She fills it out. I give her the $30 million. She looks down. She looks at me. She says, you'll never have to stand in line again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Awesome. Yeah. Good for you. Thank now you. you get direct deposit. <laughs> to, <I guess. laughs> now the bank manager calls me. It's much better. I like it. All right. Well, all the no. best to you. And thank you so thank much you for, for sharing. You ate all our product. Problem? No, not a problem. Don't eat my Fritos. <laughs> I'm saving them. Okay. All no, right. Thank Fritos, you so much. Thank you very much.